Welcome to my channel. So today we will continue our discussion about the topic finding the area by integration using horizontal strip and vertical strip. So again, recall lang natin yung mga formulas na ginamit natin sa past video. We have the vertical strip and the horizontal strip. So in finding the area using vertical strip, kailangan naka-express lahat ng functions natin in terms of x. So, ang formula doon ay integral ng upper function minus lower function dx from the limits x sub 1 to x sub 2. While sa horizontal strip naman, kabalik na lang siya ng vertical strip, dapat yung functions ay naka-express ng y. So, ang formula doon ay integral ng function right minus function left dy from the limits y sub 1 to y sub 2. So, in example rin natin sa past video, yung dalawang function na to at kumuha tayo ng vertical strip na makikita natin yung dilaw na yan yun yung vertical strip natin and then kinukuha natin yung values ng change ng vertical strip from the limits x sub 1 to x sub 2 so in this case we have the limits a to b while sa horizontal strip in example rin natin dyan yung pagkuha ng area ng bounded region ng isang parabola na nag open to the right at yung line at yung line na yan. So, we will get the area by integrating the function right which is the line minus the parabola. And we have to get all that from the limits y sub 1, the lower limit and the equivalent of the y coordinate of the y sub 2 which is also the upper limit so for our sample problem we need to find the area bounded by the functions y equals 11 minus x all raised to 1 half the lines 3x equals 2 and x equals 10 and the x axis so again let's recall our steps discussed in our previous video we have number one to draw the curves and lines number two is to identify the strips to be used number three is to identify the limits and number four is to solve using the formula so again for our first step we need to draw all the curves on the lines involved sa ating problem so so mga given na yan, meron tayong y equals 11 minus x all raised to 1 half. Pag in-square natin, makukuha na natin kung anong type ng curve yung nasa given. So we have y squared equals 11 minus x which is a parabola that opens to the left since negative nga yung x. And also we have the line 3x equals 2 which is... Um, also equal to x equals 2 thirds. We have the line x10 as well as the x axis or y equals to 0. So this shows all our functions involved in the problem. And ito naman yung itsura ng bounded region na pinagsama ng apat na function na yun. And now that, now that we've drawn all the curves and all the functions, to our graph. Number two, ay kailangan naman nating identify kung ano nga ba yung strips na gagamitin natin. So, it's either vertical strip or horizontal strip or pwede namang pareho, pareho rin silang pwede natin gamitin. So, first, gamitin muna natin or itest muna natin yung functions natin for vertical strip. So, kukuha tayo ng strip dito and Ang dalawang functions na involved dito is yung parabola and the x-axis. And then, kahit na kumuha tayo dito, ganun pa rin, same thing pa rin. We have the parabola and the x-axis. And next, we should try the horizontal strip. So, let's get a portion here. The two functions involved is yung line na x equals 10 at yung x equals 2 third. But, pagdating dito, iba na yung functions na involved. Yun na yung parabola and x equals 2 thirds. 
So, mahirap na to kung tutusin sa nabanggit ko nga sa previous slide. Pwede mo rin makuha to pag pinag-add mo yung pag pinag-add mo yung area na makukuha mo ng using horizontal strip sa portion na to at pinag-add mo dito sa polygon na mabubuo mo dito sa baba. So, mas matagal pa yon So, therefore, we will stick to our to the easiest solution we can get and that is by the use of vertical strip for our next step we need to identify the limits so ayan nakita na namin na naman natin sa given na we have x equals 2 thirds and x equals 10 so sa bounded region makikita natin na magsisimula yung pag alam natin yung mga values or yung change ng x from x equals 2 thirds to x equals 10. Equals 10. Therefore, ang limits natin is yung 2 thirds to x equals 10. So, for our last step, we have to solve using the formula which is the vertical strip na dapat ang mga functions natin ay naka-express in terms of x. So, ito yung formula para makuha natin yung area. So, ano nga ba yung mga functions na yun? So, again, nabanggit na natin kanina, we have the parabola of y squared equals to 11x. So, express natin siya in terms of x. So, square root lang natin. Square root lang natin. Therefore, ito na yung makukuha nating function na naka-express in terms of x. And that is our upper function. And also, we have the x-axis or y equals to 0. That is the lower function and also we have the limits where we already get the limits na, na, na nakuha natin sa step number 3. And therefore, meron na tayong functions, meron na rin tayong limits. We just need to directly substitute all the values to our formula. So, area is equals to the integral of square of 11 minus x minus zero since y is equals to zero yung x axis natin then we will just use our calculator to solve the problem so integral of square so remember kailangan pag mag solve tayo using calculator naka absolute value lagi yung gagamitin natin dahil may mga pagkakataon na naiiba yung value pag hindi naka absolute value. Mas matagal nga lang, pero at least tama na yung makukuha natin yung sagot. So, 2 thirds to 10. And we will have the value of 21.478. And that is our final answer. The area is equal to 21.478 square units. So that's all. Uh, thank you for watching my video. If you have more questions, just leave a comment below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much and see you again next time.